Hey there and welcome! Today on Little Nostalgia Day we're taking a short short trip to Solar Jetman Hunt for the Golden Warp Ship, I think it is. Yes. How many of you have played this? <laughs> I barely know anyone who has played this. See copyright 1990 from... I'm rare, okay, never really paid attention to that. So why short? Because there, there's really not too much to this game. <laughs> Except this goofy character. You're basically a guy going to different planets because I don't have the manual here. And I can already hear some of you sighing a collective sigh of relief. But someone blew up some sort of golden warp ship or something and you were here to gather all the pieces. And you do that by going to different planets. Like here we are going to Prelude Dawn, which is a prelude or a tutorial if you so wish. With a gravity of 8 and a di diameter of 7 and yes, those numbers do matter because the gravity is how much, well how heavy the gravity is and the diameter is how big the planet is. See we have four ships, we have four dudes, so let's get into this. Here we are, landing. <laughs> and this is basically basically the game. You're this little blue airship and just need to try and find stuff. You see you have a F which is fuel and basically the life of your pod. W, which I think is for weapon. Ooh, and since it's a Nintendo game, you... Four buttons! A, B, start and select. Start. Pauses, of course. Select currently does nothing. And I think I don't really know which one is B and which is A, but I think B is basically... Fly, ooh. And A is shoot. And you gain a lot of points. Your points you can use to purchase upgrades. Ooh. Your ship is very fragile. Might not seem like it, but one shot and my airship, uh, my my airship, my ship goes poof. And every time I bump into a wall, uh, lose a little bit of fuel, slash life. Uh, oh, I missed it. That's a, that's a that's a blue thing. I think that's a bonus level of some sort. As you can see, the, the gravity here is kind of normal, so nothing much is really happening. Ooh, I haven't played this for so many years. So even the prelude planet might be too difficult for me. <laughs> there's, there's, I think, I think that's the shield. Oh. Ooh, when the gravity changes immediately, this is so heavy. And it swings back and forth, which also ooh, kind of ooh, helps or oh not not helps it it prevents your ship it 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 it's it, it, it's a hindrance it's a hindrance. The more it swings to one side, if it swings like hell to that side, you see I have a problem going that way now. Ooh, and we're going down. Ooh, just barely missed the edge. Of course, if you press down, you can just leave it there, and everything's back to normal. And, oh. and that's what happens when you get hit by one of these bullets. Now you're a little dude. Still have the completely new fuel gauge. You cannot pick up anything. You can shoot. You are very vulnerable. So what you have to do is get back to your ship, go down, and explore. You see that meter there on the ship? That's the fuel gauge you need to leave this planet. So for this planet I need to find one fuel bar thing. For other planets you might have to completely fuel your ship. Okay, let's see. This should release automatically as soon as it's over the ship. Yes! The probes are now equipped with shields. Press down to activate. Ah. 
That's a little bit better. I don't rightly remember where the fuel thing is. Oh, oh. See, I bumped against it, lost a little bit of fuel. Uh, it's not here. So it's down here somewhere. And my ship is also out. Without the shield, you take so much more damage from everything. This should be a fairly easy, easy and fast planet. But yeah, how many of you have actually played this game? Like I said, I, I don't know anyone who played it. I think this is one of the... You know, I was, I was kind of a stupid kid. We didn't... Ooh, money. We didn't own that... Right, you, you can't, you, you can't, uh, uh ooh, oh, 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 did you see, do you see my fuel gauge? It is almost gone. We didn't have that many Nintendo games, so whenever I wanted a new one, and we couldn't afford it, I had to trade in whatever games I had. And I do remember that I did trade in, um, like I said, I was a stupid kid. Value 500. More crystals needed for a bonus life. Uh, remember trading in Mega Man 2 for this. I know. Mega Man 2. Who trades in Mega Man 2? This stupid boy, that's who. I, I bought that back later on when I could afford it. Had a little bit of money on my own, of course. But yeah, this is the one I got because I, even, even as a small little, small little me, I was kind of fascinated with the whole um, concept of space and everything in it. And this, being able to play like a little explorative spaceman. Uh, that's the ship part hole, I think. I think I need fuel before that. These enemies just keep spawning. Yeah, I, I, I was just in love with the whole uh, exploration concept facets of the game. Because you really... You can get a map eventually. I think you have to buy it. But I... Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. So... And the first time I started up the game and... You know, my hero. So much things happening. I can't speak. Not that... I'm really saying anything of consequence. Oh, can you, can you bugger, bugger off? I need, I need this. Yeah, so when you, you, every time you get to a new planet, you can see kind of how, what it looks like. You can imagine, well, I, I like to try and imagine what every planet would look like before we landed on it. And then trying to calculate how much I had to, whom? Pest. How much I had to, uh, uh, how much thruster I had to use to be able to traverse and all the secret paths and uh, everything I could, well not secret but, you know, paths, narrow paths is the word I'm looking for. Now if I have the ship part, I'm blast off. I'm gonna be safe. Oh, mine. So that's what I did in front of every plan. Check the gravity, check the size, the, the diameter and diameter. And uh, in my free time, I even kind of drew planets. <laughs> that might show, that I thought might show up later on because, well, th this planet has green and yellow things and another planet has crystals. So maybe this plant will have crystal sun yellow and green things and I had a lot of fun uh, uh, no no stay stay away stay away stay away I want to get in here so that's oh I'm not gonna say no I didn't mean to do that and I get transported here, of course. Of course I do. I mean, there were also other space-ish games on the Nintendo. I remember Rad Gravity for one. 
Never really liked that one as much as this one. I am gonna say I did play a crap ton of this. I think maybe even up to the fifth or sixth world or something, but this game becomes... Well, it's a rare game. It becomes difficult as hell. Or so I thought. And there's a ship part. The ship part needs to go into this. Oh, the ship parts are heavy. So yeah. so you have to be really careful. And this is with... Uh, basically normal gravity, man. Get over here. Come here. Yes, yes. Almost. If I just... Kinda... Nice. I found a piece of the golden warp ship. That's one I have never completed. I have never gotten the whole warp ship. And this should give me a bonus level. I think. So I can gather more inter interstellar intergalactic money. Cyber zone, click 10 gems before time catches up. Oh, I, I used to... Mm, I used to know this. I, I used to memorize these. Fuck, I am not gonna... I don't remember what happens if you get all 10. Right, that's what I used to do. Before you go into this, blow up your ship. So you're the little dude, so you can actually control a little bit better. Take off. To the next planet, that's not Preludion. That's ingrained in my head. I still I still hum that now and then whenever I do something. Bum, 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 bum. And here's where you can buy upgrades for all the things you did. Even, even when you kill things, you gain money. I don't know, is this supposed to be actual money or money and uh, reputation? Okay, let's see. There are a lot of fun things here, but this is what I want. Uh, fire A to select. I hope this is A. Good. We want a map. I don't care. You need a map. I need a map. An engine. Efficient engines. You own one of them. You own one of them. Sure, it says you own one of them, but the map, it's a mapping device. You basically have it. I don't remember the engines. Could you... Fire B to exit. So now we're going to Mexomorph. The gravity is 24 instead of 8. The diameter is 31. You can see the fun passwords. KKBLDKBBMKGB. Yep. Earth dude, write those down if you want to start at these planets. See, this one is rocky, with a crescent moon. So much variation, my little mind thought. Let's see, equip pod. Oh, that's how it works. You need, you want to buy engines. You want to buy a lot of engines, I think, because I think they are per pod. So if your pod breaks, you're you don't no longer have efficient engines. Oh, that's gonna suck. Up you go, Solar Jetman. See, I don't... This is with efficient engines. I think there was something to the right, actually. Either fuel or something money money. Down here. No. 
next uh, next little canyon then maybe oh there's something here yes yes oh there's a big honking gun there's fuel yep yep oh 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 just just die die before my fuel runs out please Die, 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 die. Thank you. Mm, get out. I'm, 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 I'm gonna take this. Don't want it to swing too much. Nope. Right. Barely got over that. Let's see, see. If you press start, and I think that's... We press select. music you can see the crap I'm gonna have to go through down there right all those narrow passages and everything and there are things hidden there and there are enemies and there's even something there to the right I uh, shit I don't remember anything about this level oh, oh, I'm so close to the ship come on Go. I'm actually gonna. Oh, I need to find th two more fuel. How would we go out without the efficient engines? See what difference it makes. I'm not feeling any difference. Maybe it helps more. Oh, more fuel. Oh, maybe a little bit difference. Yeah, but maybe that. It's more when I have these hanging with me. Whoop! But I. Nee. Ha ha! One more fuel pack, which is hidden somewhere. Will you really see? Ooh, you really fall down fast. Ooh. Take it easy. Cheat a little bit, uh -huh. get over this top, and then another top, and then we can find the... Ooh. Always have your shield on! And these bastards... Oh, I don't remember what that is. I want it. Always, always, always kill these, because I think these don't respawn. Other enemies spawn a little bit... Just, you know, the way... Anyway, they want to. I don't think the shooters, the wall shooters, come back. Okay. You look like you're gonna be heavy. Oh dear. Oh. No, don't swing too much. That, uh, this is fine. This is fine. We're going, the, we're going like this. We're just, we're just stable now. So what was that? You have equipped your probes with boosters! Select and B to thrust. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a new pod. I think that's they basically have that automatically. It drains fuel faster, but it helps with transporting certain very heavy items. See select and B, hold select. Did you see the size of that flame on my spaceship? Whee. Helps a lot in these heavy gravity planets, let me tell you. See, no no wall shooters, right? Right? No wall shooters! Ooh. That could have been worse. This music does kind of remind me a little bit of Kid Icarus, the dungeon music. Oh, no, gravity balls! Gravity balls! Dragons! All the shit. I'm not even thrusting anything. Those are just mini black holes or something. I don't know. Oh, I want that. I think I can shoot it to get it. Yes. I don't know what they do. 
but I want it. Oh no 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 <laughs> oh. Oh, oh get up a little bit There we go Oh there comes another purple No I I am getting I'm getting drawn that way Oh no that's a that's a repulsor gravity ball thingy I want down there. Die. Die, 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 die. die, 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 die. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. This I want. Oh, no, no. God damn it. I do very much like how they keep playing with gravity. I don't think they play much more. Again. Five or six worlds in. Don't rem remember exactly how many. I remember hating some sort of crystal world with very narrow passages that I could never traverse safely. <laughs> but I do like the whole th that different planets have different kinds of gravity, so you have to constantly, mm, you know, count ca counteract whatever's happening on the screen. And also the gravity balls that either suck you in or repulse you, push you away. And if you can just find the perfect angle, sometimes you can just fly in a straight line. Okay, I, I need I need 500 storing crystal. Miss more crystals needed for a bonus life. Just yeah, sure. Give, give me a new pod. Okay. Then we go out again. And you can't just go full blast! Because you never know what's gonna be in your way. Because if you... If you, like me, are, are a stupid and keep forgetting your shield, and you kinda go full blast into the wall, boom! That's... What is that, a fourth of your health gone? Can't afford that. I think the gravity balls are also dead. The only recurring enemies... Well, recur... A lot of enemies are recurring. The only respawning enemies are basically those... Weird... Uh, gloopy, gloopy things and the balls that fly around. I think... I think... From what I remember. Okay, you can't you can get it down? How does it look? Uh, it's a long way down. It's a long ass way down. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Ooh. I am. All of you need to die because remember, whenever you transport something, you cannot have your shield. So you get one shot. Uh huh. Fuel. Get over here. And it keeps pulling me down. That's what we have. The thruster. You gotta be real quick with your shield whenever you hear something coming. Okay, and then go a little bit left. Uh, yeah, those those guys are one of the respawning things. <laughs> what too close. But yeah, after this fuel thing, I only need to find the warp ship piece. I think that's somewhere inside that whole garbage. It's a rare game. They can't make it easy for you. Uh, can they? Uh uh. Up a little bit. Up, up, up. Okay. Uh, eh. You have collected enough fuel. Now find the ship part and blast off. 
I shall attempt to. Shall do my very best. I always thought the ship kinda looked like some weird creature to these antennas. And kinda looked like eyes. And then the fuel tanks, I guess? Landing gears, whatever. Legs. Might as, might as well go get a new pod. And the fuel gauge is basically his mouth. So I, I always uh, thought, I was thinking to myself that I'm traveling around in a, you know, another living creature that for some reason tolerates me and my pod and my baseballs. Oh, those baseballs are kind of weird. Is there supposed to be a blue, another blue? Yeah, I think those blue hole, holes, if you find them, are some, some kind of bonus. But you have to be very quick. Okay, so let, let's go down. Let's try and find the ship piece. Ooh. No, you don't. Maybe I should have the shield on. Okay, we went up there to the left and got the fuel thing. I think... Yeah, okay, there's there's the... Where the ship part thing needs to go. I was about to say, yeah, I think if you find those, you can actually throw things in there and they get teleported to the ship. Which is nice. So if you... Oh. Aha, uh -huh, another pod. Why there's a gravity around here? I don't know how there's another pod here. I don't know who placed another pod here because I... Isn't this the first time we, we visit this planet? Oh, I'm being dragged somewhere. Ah, uh, there you are, you bastard. Oh, two of you. That's even worse. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm starting to understand why why that pod is there. I just don't know who put it there. Okay, where are we? Getting closer to the water. No. Oh, that's something. Don't know what it is. I want it. Is this? Yep. That, that's that's. Solid water. Yeah. Oh, this is heavy. I can't even move it up without thrusting. Haha, <laughs> thrusting. See, if I just use this, I fall down. Back down. Okay, you are kind of annoying me. There's another one here. That kind of looks like a chest. Maybe it is, because I get money for it. Okay. See, I, I'm going down, going down, going down. Have to thrust. Mm, but not too much. Just have to be able to steer as well. Oop. Now we need to find... Where was that? The golden thingy was already here. Nope, 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 nope. That's where the ship was. To the left a little bit then. Okay. No, you don't. Oh, that's what happens if you. Oh no, 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 no way. Oh, come on, we can, we can get in there. We can get. Oh shh. And when you're a spaceman, you have no shield. You still have the booster, though, which is weird because when you get it, it says equip your pods with boosters. The spaceman also has it. Of course, the dragon shot my pod and then vanished like the coward he is. One, you you are going into this hole. Uh, ah. Probes with navigators. What do the navigators do?
I don't remember them at all. That's a that's a nasty combo. Fortunately, you can just hold the fire button, so you don't have to sit and press. Of course, it goes faster if you do that, but you can just. Okay. Oh, I hear another gun, or maybe another dragon. One of you? Oh, that was a dragon. Now, where are you, you piece of crap? Oh, 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 oh. Bad, 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 bad. I mean, I feel like I should take a look up there, but I don't, I don't feel like it. I just want to find the ship part, man. And blast off. We can get to the next planet. That's a gun. Let me do this a little bit carefully. Get up about, 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 about there. And then just... And then we panic. Because of course we do. Uh -oh. oh, you take... You, you, t you took some extra hits. Why? Thank you. Still trying to figure out slash remember what the navigators did. Well, we are about to go around. Uh, uh, yep. And that's what happened when I panic. Thrust. One way, so I almost run into a wall somewhere else. Oh, two of you? Three of you? Four of you? That's not nice. Five of you? The frag is going on. Get out. Just show me where the ship piece is, please. Where am I? I'm here. Fine, I'll take a look down here. Oh, I have so little fuel left. Yep, not down here, that's for sure. So, a little bit up. Can I, can I even get into that center thing with all the things? Oh, hey! Perfect. I need that. Shields off. And just... Bang! Perfect. That's mine. I'm so thankful that whoever left these pods everywhere also equipped them with shields and mapping systems and boosters. Thank you, mysterious benefactor. I appreciate you and I shall not try and pry into your private life and why you why you're helping me. Okay, am I almost back where I was? Almost. Yep. Nope. I'm out. I don't want to be here. Screw those balls. I mean, I wonder what those are really. Are they somehow powered by miniature black holes or something? Because for being so small, they sure have... I don't think there's anything up there. 
A lot of gravity. Oh no, you you stay away. Oh, I I, I want to go down there though. Do I really? This is a this is this is a fool's errand. It's basically half my health. Be a little bit careful. Go around here. Pew. Oh, bastards. No, 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 I am in such a bad shape. I was pulled up there. Oh, there's another freaking gravity ball. I'm so glad you can actually shoot at things off screen. So if you kind of know where the gravity balls are, you can just wing it and kill them, like I did with this red thing. Nope, it's still there. But you can hear me hitting him. Come on. Oh, there it is. Of course, when I have barely any fuel left. At least I can clear this room. Fine, I need to get another part anyway. But now that I know it's over there, I can just go this way. Cause if we look at the map, th there's a, th there's a path down over there. Just travel through the darkness of space. Yep, here it is. I'm only here to get the ship piece. I can afford to take some damage. Clear the way. Dragons. Nope, that was the wrong way. But now I'm pretty close, actually. Oh, that was too much damage. If I just go left here-ish. Screw you guys. Is it in there to the left? I think so. Just in here. Yes. Okay. In before the dragons come back. Then we boost down a little bit. There we go. And then... Kill all of you. No, I don't want to go into the hole again. One down. Stay away. No, no matter what kind of gravity the planet has, these places always seem to have the same gravity. Because if I had been, if I had been out on the planet now, I would be just be falling down. I appreciate that. Thank you, Rare, for making part of the game slightly easier. Pew. Then I just have to 
safely get the entire ship piece up here. See, this is a lot of bullcrap to deal with. Imagine if it would have the, the same gravity as the planet. That would just be too much. Still two left, huh? I can deal with you. Alright, now for the most difficult part. Is there a map of this place? No. So you're gonna have to kind of remember... ...the layout of the place? Yeah. You want to drag me that way? That That's fine. Ton of peas on the golden warp ship. That's two out of... X amount of... Now we just... Bonk. And another bonk. And another bonk. Ah. Getting the diamonds should be easier now. Because you, you, you're not really penalized... ...for uh, doing that. Yeah, this is the same layout as last time. Was that all of them? Federation of Space Loonies! Oh, I missed one! Yeah, because... Like, like I see, if I go to explore now... I still have four pods down there. You're only really penalized if you lose the dude. Those are your actual lives. You can see the pod is armor. Now we lift off and go to the next planet. And this is basically all that Solar Jetman is. Go to a planet, find stuff, take it back to your ship. Get money, upgrade ship, rinse and repeat. I'm not gonna say that's basically all there is, because I've never beaten the game, so I don't know if there's a final boss or anything. Hey look, the crystal planet. Omebrew, Gravity 16, Diameter 23, Password KDBPDKHBRXHB. In the Sandor system, System 1. So, yeah, that's all legit, man. I just, I just wanted to play a little one-off after Full Throttle was done. So, hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Because that is, this is basically it. I spent, I spent so much time with this game as a child, sucking at it. But I spent a lot of time with it, and I think, I think it was one of those games that helped me, at the time, develop a little bit of my imagination. Trying to figure out planets, how, what other planets would look like, maybe a little bit of what alien life would look like and such. And it kind of helped cement my interest in space. Because space is basically the, the best thing there is. As long as you get a game without too many loading screens. Anyway, as always, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a very good continuation of your day. I wish you nothing but the best. And please, do take care. <laughs>